Oh, welcome back for an exciting one. So excited. I'm building a 50 ton press. Step by step. All the measurements will be there. Everything I used will be down in the description. Blah, blah, blah. This thing cost me, I think, 12, 1300 bucks in total. It's a 50 ton press. That's why it's so much. You can do it for cheaper. Um, I did a lot of trading too. Welding will be done by a journeyman. The wiring will be done by a journeyman electrician. So, um, yeah. Bought the hoses, bought the power pack, bought the ram. And the nitty gritties that go with it. So, I'm super, super excited. Right now, it is nighttime. So, tomorrow morning, that frame will be on its way to get welded. I'm taking it on a two hour and 45 minute journey to the journeyman welder's house. You'll meet him, his name's Adrian. Awesome dude, he's gonna weld it up for me. I'm trading him a micro lathe that I have standing back here. Um, he's got so many toys, he's got a lot of toys, so now I'm just adding to his pile of toys. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this build. Um, this has been a dream, this is, this is a dream come true for me. So, uh, big Damascus projects, that's, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get to the build. Okay. Okay, it's a nice sunny day. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, measurements here. That is balancing right now with the grinder's uh, disc removal wrench thing. Okay, so I'm gonna use I-beam for the platform that goes up and down. This is not the platform, it's gonna be full length. So, top beam is 26 inches. Inside of this I-beam, the measurement is seven and three eighths. Top and across, let me go around first here. The entire length from here all the way across to here is 42 inches. Then top measurement here is six and seven sixteenths. Okay. This is broken. This is eight inch I beam top to bottom. Like I said, the inside measurement is seven and three eighths. Okay, length of the uprights is 54 inches from bottom to top here, that's 54. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So 26 bottom, 26 on the top. I just tacked this together. Probably the next shot you guys are gonna see is when I take this thing to get welded up by a welder friend of mine. Okay, so this might look a little weird to you guys, but this is 24 inches two feet and then the guides that i put in is just this top layer cut off one of the other pieces out there scrap piece and weld it in there that distance here from the edge to where it touches is an inch so that little part right there is an inch both sides and look it does move freely So, the only thing that I'll need to fabricate is the guides here and here so that this thing can't move back and forth. So, both sides back here and over here. Okay, so the last part you guys saw was this beautiful spring day. Just a little bit of ice in the driveway. That melted away, by the way. This is now a week later. Um, here in Canada, we call that Fool's Spring. Yeah, I'll show you why. I'm gonna go open that door.
and it's very, very cold. I'm gonna now try and load a, load that up onto my truck because I'm leaving early in the morning to drive over two hours to get that welded. This here welded that. picked up coffee and uh, on my way this truck is completely frozen it's minus 12 Celsius what that is in freedom meters I have no idea So two days of welding, thanks to Adrian for helping me out. Um, it's 
three passes on all four corners, the rest are singles. Down bottom for the uh, legs or the feet or whatever you would call them, uh, the support. Um, double passes with uh, the welder and where I'm sitting right here, probably four or six passes or something. Like this is never gonna get out. The only problem is, if this pin ever decides to break, can't get it out. I'm short by half an inch. When I do give you guys the measurements on this, you will uh, see why. Now this is just a piece of cardboard, I just want to trace a template of this so I can see where my holes are. Just so it doesn't fall off. So that's the general idea. Wait, wait, hold on. There. Damn, that's heavy. Now, over here is two drilled and tapped holes. The plate's gonna go on there for the guide. Same on that side. Wow. Up here, drill and tap these. Put a plate on so it is a guide pretty much like that so it guides on the side here and over there just like that okay let's go to the other side again so these ones i believe still need to be tapped yeah so i'll get to doing that
Yeah. Morning, Brad. Oh, hello. What are we doing today? Just gonna install a uh, 20 amp, 250 volt plug for this new 50 ton press. <laughs> Just gonna put in the receptacle here and then we'll run to the disconnect on the unit. Journeyman Sparky. So while Brad's doing that, I'm putting this on. Just drilling these holes. That box go on okay? Yeah, not bad. All right, what are you doing now, Brad? Uh, just checking the continuity of the switch, basically. You said that white is what, phase tape? Um, yeah, you want to put proper phase tape on the white just to indicate that it's not a, a neutral. That's good. You need more hands? Yeah, be nice. <laughs> We're going to test this out now, start bleeding it. Okay. We're going to turn it on now. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's get ready to turn it off. That's just going to engage the pump. We won't be forcing anything through it until you pull the handle. That's as loud as it should get. That's awesome. Maybe a little bit more when you get quick pressure, but... So is that the way you want it? Up, down, down, down. So I don't know, is that uh, how fast that should go um, down? It's still getting the air out and stuff, so. And okay. this is a little wonky. It's something I, I still need to weld or um, drill a pin through. I wonder, let's see, hold on. It's. It goes up nice. Way faster. That's not bad. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, I need to fill that tank up again. Okay, so the next order of business is um, the two way valve is set to 2100 psi. The system runs three grand, so I need to adjust the pressure relief up to about 3000. Um, that's why this gauge is here. So if you look at this now, it's gonna make a lot of noise. I'm gonna put this block in here and then put some pressure on it and it should stop at 2100 PSI. That's max. So we need it to stop over there. So I'll be adjusting it. That's it right there, three grand. And now, tighten this up. Ta-da! Right, 
Next order of business, let's throw some uh, steel in the forge. See what this thing does. Welcome to Hydraulic Channel. <laughs> oh! That squirted in my face. What is in that? It had holes in it. So I think it's water and whatever else. It looks like brains, man. Yeah. That's awesome. That's what we're looking for. You got in your face too? No, it blew right past me. <laughs> Okay, first things for it, first on the next morning. Ugh. Massive billet of Damascus. This thing's like almost 30 layers right now. So um, let's give it a shot. Well, there you guys have it. <laughs> so happy about this. Look at the size of this thing. It's almost as big as my anvil face. Well, almost. So, what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll clean this up. I haven't folded it yet, but I'll clean it up and uh, grind all the scale off and everything. Cut the, the butt ends off and then uh, etch it and show you guys. See if this thing can forge well. So, I'm happy you guys stuck along through the whole build of this. Well, to most of you, whoever stayed. And um, more and exciting things to come in the near future. Yes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you on the next video. See ya.